everyone, my name is Araceli Garcia and I am your ELA TOSA for secondary schools. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this awesome program called Sway that you can use to have your students create uh, newsletters or little journals, just a fun and creative way to get them to write and to publish their work. So I'm going to talk about Sway, which is a part of the Microsoft bundle that you can access actually right through your Outlook email. So I'm going to show you just different ways that you can actually get into this program. Super easy to use and has great templates for you and your students. So let me just kind of show you um, what I've done with it. So I'm going to show you one of the newsletters I've created. So here I, I give it a title, right? And I've been doing a newsletter for the district just to highlight literacy across content and in our ELA classes. And so I'm going to go ahead. This is again the storyline style so this is where I can do my editing and if I click play this is what it will look like and again this is a template so I'm just inputting the pictures that I want and I'm changing the the wording that I want but it pretty much is giving me different styles to choose from so super easy to use so here I decided I wanted to have it scroll this way so I'm giving it my title I'm going to give it a little table of contents and as you can see as it rolls up it looks very nice it looks really cool actually on a cell phone um, or on a tablet uh, it has a nice really really good features so I give it these little subheadings here's how much you know text I want I can embed pictures I can embed video as you can see here and I always like to give a little uh, again caption uh, some of these are hyperlinks, so I could also add hyperlinks to this. Um, again, I can choose the size that I want of the images that I choose to do. Uh, again, some of these are pictures. Here's some interviews I always like to have students do. And again, I'm uploading the videos. Um, you can have a picture and then upload just the audio. That's another way to do this. Again, this is a documentary that students did, and I can upload that link and talk about it. And again, just different ways. Uh, that I could format it. Again, here's a teacher and she is again giving me just the audio interview. Uh, so many different ways that um, can make this newsletter kind of fun to use. Uh, so that's again, I just kind of wanted to show that. Once I'm ready to, you know, if I've uh, finished my, t my newsletter, uh, I can also uh, share it. So here's again a way to share it. I'm going to scroll this down. So I can share to, again, a specific group. I can share it to an organization and just send them the link. I can open it up to anyone. I would be careful with that, especially when it's students, right? Um, I can send it and put it on edit view so I can have other students or other people collaborate with me, or I could just do it on view mode and just copy the link or get the visual link and send it out. And so I often put this on, like I said, via an email and send it to all of the schools. Uh, sometimes I like to post something like this on my social media so other people have access to it, depending on what social media you use. Uh, you can, again, just upload that link onto that social media and people have access to it. So really great stuff uh, that, you know, I highly encourage teachers to use. Sometimes, to, you know, it can get kind of boring to always have students write on a sheet of paper or always write an essay that's, a, you know, on a Google Doc. So, you know, having students play and explore with different media formats is great skill to have as we leverage digital, right, and technology. Okay, so I wanted to kind of show what it can look like. Again, you can use different tools here. You can change your settings. Take a look here, right? You can change the layout. Again, um, different animations. You can even change the how fast the animations go, right? So all kinds of things. All right, so let me go back to what this would look like if I wanted to edit. All right, and actually what I'm going to do is just kind of go back to Sway itself and this is the kind of like the home page okay so here are all my sways that i've done right so it holds on i actually have a template that i always like to use just so I, I keep the same format um you can start from new create a new one right you can start from a document that you've already created you can go on to tutorials so different things you can do here so let's say i just want to start with uh create a new one so here it's going to just kind of you know start really basic so here's my storyline, and if I hit design, that's where I could play with, again, the colors, the font, the styles, and so forth. So, okay, so I'm going to just title this really fun, like, my, um, what is it, my dream 
vacation. Let's say I'm writing a blog, right, or I'm having my students do some journaling and I want it to be really low stress. I just want them to have fun. And I would encourage that before you give that big assignment, have them play with this a little bit, right, so they can really uh, check it out. All right, now I want to add a picture or an image here, so different things I can do. So here I'm going to click on the image. And I can either go into the pictures that already an images that this uh, program already has. So let's say I want to go to the beach, right? So somewhere, you know, I want to go vacation. Um, so I can choose vid images here, right? And something nice, oh, I really like this one. So I can click on that and I can add it, right? So now it's going to be part of my, um, my little sway here. Now, when I do that, it's going to give me a couple of options. So let's just take a look at what this looks like. So if I go here and I click on design, it'll it'll look like this, right? And so it's saying, okay, is this kind of what you want? I'm like, ah, uh, maybe, right? Uh, I could always change the style. So let's say, no, I don't like it like that. I think I want it to go like this. Or I could change it another way. I could, maybe I want it to look like that. Maybe I want it to look like this. I would suggest that students first do their writing and then, in fact, I would usually have them do the writing on Google Doc or get all the brainstorming done and then go into Sway so they could do this, right? So again, I could even change the color of the font, right? Um, and I could play with all of this, uh, all of these. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my storyline. And so now here, again, I could play with some of the fonts. I can, uh, you know, italicize it. I can emphasize this if I wanna make it bold, right? So again. All right, so let's say I have my title and I want to say something about this. Maybe it's my little intro. So here, it's going to have you choose a couple of things that you want. Do you want a heading, right? Maybe a little subheading before you get into this. Let's say you're doing a newsletter and you're covering um, the, you know, dream vacations of everyone in your classroom. So maybe you want to start with, you know, uh, beach areas. And so I might start here and I say, you know, beach area vacations and so here once again i can choose another image since i already have this one i'm going to put it okay here's another one and i'm going to add it now here what i could do also is i can change the focus so it's not taking up a big picture so i could go here and right now this is the way it's going to look like right i want the entire image to be on my uh, again my page or I can click on, no, I just want to highlight this little part. And so I could actually put a focus area and uh, it'll just kind of zoom in on that, right? So let's see what it looks like. So let's say I have that one and I'm gonna go ahead and just go design. And actually I wanna play, let's see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. All right, so there's my cover page. All right, so now here's the entire picture and I could add some words on the bottom, okay? So again, let's see what happens if I change this style and I say, no, you know what? I think I want to remix it. Let's see what's in that. I don't think I want it black and white, right? Uh, and let's have it go this way. Yep. And I'm going to change some of them. Yeah, we'll do it like that. And again, I'm going to go here and I want to change this image and I don't want it to be such a big focus. All right, so we'll do that. Okay, and so again, I could kind of change with the styles and you can see there, now it's kind of changed it for me, right? And this time it's gonna go actually to the sides here. So this is one picture, right? And again, and I can add more. Now I can add some text, so let's add some text. And so let's say I interviewed students and some of the students I could do my typing here, right? Let's say that I wanted to talk about Cancun and I actually want to do a hyperlink so I can actually highlight this word here, click on link, and put in my hyperlink there, right? So I could do that. Again, I could, you can see all the things that you could do. You could do bullets and numbers and all types of fun things, again. Um, and because this is a heading, you can decide, you know, if you want to add more, right? If you kind of don't like, you, know, you want to go back, you can always kind of go back, right? So you can do a little bit of that. Right now, notice here, this is, it's gonna be a smaller kind of uh, area. You can make it a little bigger, right? So let's go here and once again, let's, let's see what it looks like if I do this. 
All right, so this is what my newsletter is looking. It's going to start to uh, format itself. So here, right? And let me move this out of the way. Oh, give me a second. Very good. Okay, I'm going to actually pause here. The cursor was in the way so I couldn't see the arrows. But as you can see here, this formatting is slightly different. So here, this one's going to go horizontal like that. All right. And so here you'll see, again, the different pages. And here's now my writing. So I could do it that way, right? So again, this is one of the different ways that I could do it. I'm going to go back to edit. And I'm going to say, you know, um, all right, I could play with this a little bit later, but I don't like this slice this way. I like it vertical, and I still want them to remix it. Again, here's a different way. Oh, now it's adding some other kind of little fonts to it. All right, so we'll keep it like that for now. So let me, I'm going to go back to the storyline. And so here I can just keep adding different things. So let's say I have another, um, another kind of subheading. Let's say I want to now do... Um, you know, mountain areas. Again, I can add a picture. Now, if I don't want to have a picture from here, I can actually upload a picture that I already have. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to my device and I'm going to see, okay, you know what is something that maybe I already saved, maybe from the internet or so forth. So I'm going to go to my documents. I'm going to go to my pictures here. Maybe I already saved some pictures and, you know, here's some fleet. You know, right, some free clip art that I used. All right, I'm, I'm gonna put that right, or maybe I have a picture of a mountain. Um, again, I like to keep a folder with all of my uh, newsletter pictures, and so you know I can have different, right, different students here, different images that I'm here. I'm kind of keeping everything organized. Let's say I like this one. I'm gonna open it, and it'll insert it there. And sometimes it takes a little bit longer, right? Um, and again, I can decide, do I want the whole picture there, the entire image? Do I want just part of the image? You could do that. Again, let me add another one. Um, another cool feature is when you do uh, something like images, and you can stack some images. So here you have some media options. You could do video. You can embed that audio like I mentioned, right? Um, so let me go back here again to suggest it. I like to do this one is really cool where you can add like images. So let's say I want a whole bunch of images about mountains. And I'm going to search for those. Again, my little cursor is in the way. Oh. Yeah. Da, da, da. Give me one second. Click on. Okay, so there are some mountains I'm going to look for. And I'm just going to click that one and I also want that one and I also want that one and I want one more okay okay so now these are kind of grouped together and so what's going to happen when I actually click play let's take a look at how this is looking all right so here's again I don't know if I like that little uh all that busyness but here it is right so I can scroll down look at that so again it's giving me my format notice again the picture is now a little bit different there's my text Right, here's another image that I added. Here's another subheading. And here's that stack of pictures. And if I click on it, it'll kind of shuffle just kind of cool like that. Right? So again, lots of cool things here. But again, let's say I'm ready to play with those that style. So I'm gonna go here to design and I'm gonna say, you know what? Again, I don't want uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change up the design right so i'm going to go ahead and click remix and i could change it up and find one that i do like again this one's going to change it to horizontal again i kind of want i like i don't know why i kind of like the vertical one right again and you have all of these choices here to play with you can even customize it on your own let me see what this one's looking oh, that one's okay right um let's see if they give me another style so you can see it's pretty intuitive so students will find it really easy to use um, and I think a lot of kids really like the ability to kind of create their own styles to bring in their own pictures right and just kind of kind of pretend that they're doing a layout for a magazine really and that's what this is right a very professional looking little project that the students can do uh, so again you know this is just a little intro to a program called Sway uh, it does, you know, save so you don't they don't have to worry about anything else when they're ready. They can again share it um, They can share the email, you know, the link with you 
right? So you can take a look at it and then it'll save their work. And so they can always go back to their uh, templates, to their homepage and find the one that they were working on. Um, so uh, again, you don't have to always go into sway.office.com. Another way is just to go to your email and actually at the top here, I call it the pizza little symbol here. So if you go there, you actually have it right on your Outlook. So if you click on that one, you can also get to uh, access this awesome program. So you'll see here, kind of looks just slightly different. Uh, it doesn't bring up the home page. It brings up this one here. And what's kind of cool is that it can actually, let's see if it shows up. Sometimes it'll give you the analytics. And so I sometimes like to see the analytics. So if I go back to my home page, I might see it there, but sometimes it'll let me see. Oh, there it is you know, how many people are viewing. So this one, 352 views, you know, again, and uh, deep reads and all kinds, and that's some good statistics. Again, for students who are looking to, to you know, really be writers, to blog, uh, so many kids nowadays are looking at that kind of field. So I hope that helps. Again, have a great weekend. And if you have any questions, again, my name is Araceli Garcia, and I am here to support you. Thank you very much.